que te cargó este a te ia o te hari kua i roto i te hui pene i roto i te tatukara me taku whakapai a putanoa i te me hari ki te hui tamaki i te ratau e te no serious rata te no serious Yes, and that's been exciting as the Fano keynote speakers um, and what they have to say about where they're at and that gives us some idea if we're on the right track as a provider and, and is our service um, the right service and if not what are we doing about it because it's about actions and that's what I love more about Fano Order is the action. The action around people have to step their game up to look after our Fano because what's been happening isn't good enough. And it's really um, exciting to think that whānau do have their own solutions, and all we do is we, we support how that's going to happen, when it's going to happen, and make it happen. I don't realise how much of a um, whānau uh, unity there was here in Whangarei. I moved down from Rawani, and my is all up there. So, coming to Whangarei and seeing so many Māori on a positive level in one room was, yeah, it was quite amazing. <laughs> the, the symposium idea, and this being the inaugural one, uh, I think is a good sign. Um, and, um, and, and because it's going to become, I think, part, there's no reason why it shouldn't become, uh, part of the annual evaluation process where you stand before your peers to say here's what we've done, here's how we're not done. And so what I've tried to do in the, in the, in the, um, in the presentation this morning is give some sort of um, um, uh, ideas of what you should be measuring. And uh, at the moment um, we must assume that the Crown's ways of measuring success or failure are totally inadequate. I've always been a person that was behind the crowd and with Patsy Atlix or getting me involved in a lot of things, I've, I've actually um, put my name in for like um, domestic violence and you know kids, I really want to deal with kids because I've got eight kids and I need to fix them before I start fixing somebody else. I just realised so for me, this is what I saw come out of this week. An insight of comatural responsibility. I enjoyed Tariana's speech. What I loved about it was that she was actually giving the power back to the whanau. That an actual fact she is right on what she says. The power doesn't sit with politicians. The power sits within each whānau unit. Because back in the day, when you think about it, we actually didn't have politicians. You had chiefs. You had chiefs within your village, but the whānau took care of the whānau. And what I gleaned from what you, who put it all was this morning was, um, OK, we have moved up in times, and now we live in a modern contemporary time. But the, the principles don't change. Um, rather than have services imposed, and I totally agree, rather than have services imposed, or not so much imposed, but be invited in your door, um, find the answers within your whānau. Go back to, I loved what um, Matua Piri talked about yesterday, go back to the mokopuna in the middle of the uh, purufita, of the circle. The mamas in the middle of that circle. Oh, the next circle, the queer, the next circle, the, the komatua, the queer and komatua next circle, and the papas looking out of the circle. Go back to those days, because I can actually see that in my head, what that would look like in terms of whānau now. And I just, and that was what was some of the uplifting stuff that I got, was that that's what I'm aiming for. I just didn't know that that's what it was. They was, I think people was finally seeing the bigger picture, how they spoke about get over yourself. It is about the us, not the me's. 
and I think some of them started to click how that could look because I think they st struggle with intangible tangible and they look keep looking for that product so we haven't got that product yet so it's not happening for us. I see myself as someone that can help their head up high and travel the world and always know that your whānau is with you. Highlights for me is having um, a good representation from Kaipara um, with our kaumata and queer. We've had our kaumata and queer not only who are part of Ngāri Pō, the collective, but also um, our taumata, Kaunihira. We've had quite a few of them attend. Um, and they weren't per se involved with the collective, but they have just loved it. They have just loved Some of them could only come today. And when they saw what they did today, they are really, you know, disappointed that they didn't come yesterday actually to experience the whole two days. So that's been a highlight and just having our collective governance members here as well. Um, majority of them are Pākehā and that's been awesome. Just getting their feedback as well. I guess generally whānau order um, from the inception, um, as you would have heard during the hui, it's not a new idea, it's something, you know, a or a way of thinking, my um, really something that was a normal thing within our um, whānau, within our communities. Um, and really, I guess it has been about reclaiming whānau order as something, um, a way and a, and a way of being and a way of doing. I think the kaupapa of whānau order rocks, it always has, it always will, because it's how we rock. Um, I think it's just given some more structure and definition around what that means in actuality, you know, in, in everyday, people's everyday lives, and it's given a new way for people describing what it is. Um, I also think it's testing assumptions that, uh, that, that many whānau have about whānau and order of whānau wellness. And, you know, we have lunch together every Sunday, therefore we are whānau order. Well, yeah, it's a little bit more than that. Whānau order now, for me, it's, it's a way of life. It's a way of life that, from the previous experience of life itself, it was all about the me, me thing. So, Final order reignited a new turnaround in our space and reassured me that the path that to wellness in terms of me and myself, in terms of my family. <laughs>